Tak. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Uh, YouTubers, I'm back. Uh, you guys, what's up? It's me, Pro Sniper here. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a Mega Blocks um, review on the Halo theme, and it's one of the new 2013 um, Winter sets, and it's set number uh, 97116. Um, uh, UNSC Siege Bike, and it's one of the only Repex vehicles. Um, uh, ages 8 to 8 plus, um, 72 pieces, and um, oh, that's set number 9. Uh, that's what it says. It's got set 9, but I'm um, not sure what that means. Um, but yeah. So yeah, this is one of the new 2013 sets, and um, you know, it's got it's one of the only Repex vehicles. This uh, it's not been featured in any games yet, but. I think it will, and I will tell you that shortly after I've like reviewed all this set. Um, but yeah, there's only one con about this set, and it does say it comes with an active camel grunt, but well, storm grunt, active camel storm grunt. But I don't, I didn't get that. But um, I mean, I'm not really bothered. I got a pretty cool Spartan and pretty cool little siege bike, so I'm really happy with just day two. That that was the main reason I got the set. And I might get more of these sets because I mean I, I really like these sets. They're probably my favourite um, of this. Uh, yeah, but um, you know I'll just start off with the box. This is the front of the um, box. Um, you know it's got only repex, all the information and a picture of the set. And we got Halo Four, um, the Halo Four um, Master Chief here, um, top left or right, whatever. Um, He's in the Mark IV armor. That's actually the armor it's called. On the top of the box, it's just a picture of the figures with a big massive Halo written on it. Then on the back, we just have a, you know, just the names of the figures, what the other set, um, the set itself, active camo, um, grunt, um, what only repex is and what this um, siege bike is. So uh, only repex is. Uh, the reverse engineering and prototyping Xeno technology um, department of the Office of Naval Intelligence, and basically they just um, make uh, let's just see they make like the concept technologies of vehicles. You know, like they make uh, they'll make vehicles that are like way ahead of their timeline, something like that. So, I think that's basically what the best way to describe it is. And, you know, like, for, like, really special missions that other vehicles probably probably would not be able to carry out. Um, that's basically what um, the only Repex is. Um, you know, it's just a... Ah, uh, uh, what do you call it? I... Uh, A group of scientists, like engineering engineers or something like that. Well, um, and also later on in the review, I have three of the um, uh, series seven mystery packs, so I'll review them in the same video um, after I've done this. Also, this retails for twelve pound in the UK, which I think is a pretty acceptable price. It's actually pretty cool. Um, you know, you get pretty cool little, um, pretty cool little building. Um, so I'll just start with what's included. First, you get this for the Mega Blocks website, and you know just some of the other UNSC vehicles that you get with this ball. And that's just that. Um, you get the instruction manual, which is basically just the same the one that comes with the Brute Chieftain Chopper, and the just the Brute Chopper really. Um, you know, on that side you've got instruction um, stages 10 to 16, and all your pieces that are included in figures and on the back is just one to um, nine and just only repex really um, and just all the details of that and then get this little card piece um, and on the front it's just like the schematics for it so it's just like all different views for it and that and then on the back we just got some information about it and I'll just read that out 
Um, so, positioned on a heavy grade, all-terrain, single traction tread, the siege bike can easily transverse challenging environment environments reaching speeds of over 145 kilo, uh, kilometers per hour, sorry about that, uh, or 90 miles per hour, which is pretty fast, while maintaining increased, incredibly, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, yeah, incredible control and feel, feel dexterity. The Siege Bikes armament, armament is a side-mounted heavy machine gun M2, M268 HMG with Spectrum enhanced visual tracking functionality and designed especially to target well fortified enemy strongholds and barricades. So, yeah, just that, that is um, that's basically just telling you what this is ma mainly used for. Um, so, we'll just start with weapons and accessories. Uh, the first one is just a uh, active camo needler, which was meant to be for the grunt, but well, obviously I didn't get that, so yeah, it's just for something, really. And we get a black assault rifle that we've seen a lot. And next, uh, we get um, you also just get this little um, block to um, piece just to display your Spartan minifigure or C, maybe plus a Spartan call game. Uh, UNSC Spartan CIO armor. Which I believe is my next unlock on Halo 4. I think it's my next unlock. I need to check, but I think SR727. I think that's when you unlock the CIO armor. Either that or it's like 28 or something. Um, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, but I think that is my next unlock. Um, so he's a pretty nice minifigure. It comes with like a really dark um, blue colour and gold for the visor and grey, kind of dark grey for the jumpsuit. And he's a pretty nice minifigure. And he's got really nice articulation. Um, he has a ball jointed head, ball jointed shoulders, um, hinged elbows, swivel wrists, swivel waist, ball jointed um, ball jointed legs, hinged knees, and that's all his articulation. Also, there's a peg hole in the back where you can store backpacks, um, radio backpacks, and just weapons, or a katana. Um, so that's also pretty nice as well. Um, so that's him. I'll just put him over there now. Next, we get this small little forerunner structure. This also adds on to my theory why I th well, I th that I think that this vehicle might be in Halo 5. Um, so that's the forerunner structure. You know, it's a pretty simple design, but pretty nice. And moving on to the main feature of the set is the Oni Repex bike. And this is this side with the mounted chain gun, um, which can go swivel, um, like pivot up and down, so it can be like, so you can like go over a ramp or something, and it can still manage to like say there's an enemy barri barricade, so you can just like kind of go up it like that, but still be able to like fire whilst in midair, so the chain gun isn't just like that, and you need to wait till the ground so you're vulnerable to um, enemy attack. Which is pretty nice as well, you know. I mean, um, you know, there's not a lot of armor on it, so that makes up for armor. Um, on the back, there's a brake light and a little antenna here. There's also an extra piece here where I guess you could use to store the assault rifle. And this is the other side. And this is the front, which has just got the little screen here. Um, we also got this little exhaust piece here. Uh, there's two vents on either side. And there's this piece here that's got a printed Oni piece. And there's just a little stabilizer piece for when it gets off it, so it just goes like that. And if you lift up, it just basically falls like that. Um, and you can um, put your Spartan on the vehicle. And it actually sits there pretty nice once I get him into position. And he just uh, sits on it like that, which is pretty nice. Um, also, the tracks do move. Um, the the prey like 
uh, really hard to move, you know, you kind of need to put a lot of pressure on it, and it has to be on the right, like, surface. Um, so that's basically about it for the set, guys. Um, so that's it for this set, anyway. Um, I kind of like, I would give this a 10, because I really like it. I mean, I wouldn't take off any marks for the fact that there's, like, not a grunt or that with it, because, I mean, I, I really like the Spartan and the only Repex bike, that's basically the only reason I really got this set. Um, so yeah, I'd still give it a 10. Um, now the reason that I think this might be in Halo 5 is if any of you have seen the um, Halo 5 t uh, trailer, you'll see that Master Chief is on like a sand planet. It's just basically covered with sand. Now, first piece of evidence, if you look at the box, what the siege bike's on um, does really look like sand. So, yeah. Well, actually, that is actually sand. Um, so that is sand. And Master Chief was on a sand planet. So, there's your first piece of evidence. Secondly, this has just got one big track, which, if you think about it, would make, would mean that this would be good on all terrain and really good in sand, because, like, the planet sand might prevent other vehicles from moving through it because of the thickness of it, maybe. So that's what this vehicle's for. Um, so yeah, that's basically the, all the evidence that's making me think that. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, so now we'll just move on to the mystery packs and see what I got. So I've got three of them, series seven. Uh, so, yeah, I just caught them completely at random. I do not know the codes, but I will tell you the codes um, once I've opened them. Yeah, there's codes. So, if I could just cut up it here. Uh, I think I might need to build them many figures once you get them. Because, uh, you know, they used to just come. Uh, so, this is a little uh, sheet that you. Yeah, just a little checklist. The second, so I just came up with my laptop. There we go. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay. Just check some of the sets. So. Okay, we've got some nice sets. Alright, so. We have a UNSC Mark VI Spartan with a railgun, blue. Um, a cover in grunt, um, kind of like a green colour, with a purple needler, a flood combat form, uh, a yellow cover in grunt, a purple spec ops cover in grunt, a UNSC marine with railgun, a uh, Halo 4 version, um, a cover in zealot elite, um, purple, uh, UNSC marine, cover in elite commando, a uh, UNSC ODST, a uh, CQB Spartan with I think that's a Sentinel Beam, which is uh, a new weapon, so that's pretty nice. Um, you may try to get that because that looks a pretty nice weapon. Um, uh, UNSC Spartan Mark V, uh, another Scout Spartan, uh, Covenant Brute um, Jump Pack, uh, UNSC EOD Spartan, and a UNSC Security Spartan, which is the rare minifigure. So let's see if my luck's in. I get these um, one of the ultra rares. Um, so let's see what I've got. Okay, so the first one looks to be a scout. Um, so I'll give you his code at the end. So yeah, you need to build them, guys. So this might take a while because it's uh, takes a while. Okay, that's the head on, so that's different because the head's usually the worst to put on. I take that back actually, the waist is because of the swivel. There we go. One leg on, one more to go, and then the arms. And then, um, yeah. Um, but I will leave a link in the tree, uh, a link in the description or an annotation to the Halo 5 trailer so you can check it out and you know just see what you think and if you agree with me or anything um, just you know like leave it in the comment 
or that. Um, so take this is meant to be like an Arctic Arctic Scout Spartan. So <coughs> two seconds. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. All right. So this is him. He comes with the uh, black assault rifle. Um, just the usual scout we've all seen before with the ODST body and the scout shoulders and helmet. Uh, he's got black for the jumpsuit, white for the armor, and uh, gold for the visor. Um, it comes with the same articulation as the Spartan from um, the siege bike, you know, a ball jointed head, shoulders, swivel wrists, um, hinged elbows, swivel waist, hinged um, uh, hinged knees and uh, ball jointed legs and uh, right I'll give you the code for him so if you know if you want the code then if you want you can write it down I'll uh, try to leave an annotation the code for him is A O A zero four three M M so that's the first mystery pack open okay let's see is this the security Spartan or is it a zealot or is it is it a figure well, that's pretty stupid saying that but uh, yeah. okay it's not open properly but, uh, do a sec I'll we'll have to cut again yeah, there we go Okay, uh, another checklist. That's a covering carbine, so I've either got a zealot or the other elite, but I think it might be a zealot. What is it? It is it's the commando, so that's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Uh, so let's get build. Let's build this minifigure. Is that like went improperly? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Move on to the arms. Uh, I'll also be doing a Halo 5 uh, theory like video um, after this one, so I'll be playing to have some Halo 4 gameplay in the background. Um, so yeah, please watch that if you want to hear some of my theories about Halo 5. Uh, so this is the Elite Purple Commando Elite. It comes with a purple carbine. <laughs> um, he just basically got the same articulation as a Spartan. He's got ball jointed head, ball jointed so shoulders, um, hinged elbows, swivel wrist, um, swivel waist, hinged knees, and swivel waist. So that's it. Um, uh, his code is if you want to get some of these guys, um, the code is A. 10043mm. So that's it. And moving on to our final uh, mystery pack. Wonder what it is. Wonder what it is. What is it is. And I think it's a yellow grunt. Is it? Uh, yeah, it's yep, yellow grunt. Uh, don't need to build this guy. It comes with uh, purple needler. Uh, he's got yeah now kind of like these ones better because their legs move separately. No, the older ones did. Um, he's got swivel wrists. Uh, I'm not sure what the articulation for his shoulder is. Um, swivel waist and um, you know his legs move separately or just at both at the same time. And uh, he's yellow. With uh, silver detailing um, and black for the skin, no fades. But uh, well, so that's just kind of greyish actually. Don't know, don't know. Um, but uh, 
his code if you want any of the uh, grunts, make up a little grunt army, maybe, um, is A15043MM. So that's all my mystery packs for tonight. Well, my view for tonight. Um, I'll probably get some more mystery packs next week, and maybe even the Veto, don't know. Um, the other only repack site. The site. Um, vehicle. So if you enjoyed this review, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And come back for my uh, Halo 5 Theory video. So yeah, see y'all later. Bye.